Hi everybody, Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, tonight I'm going to do a flip carp. So I will be doing it in Montmartre paints in cerulean blue and whoops not that one where's this one magenta with white so i have made up four cups of paint one magenta one cerulean blue and two white all of them have 60 grams paint and 60 grams pouring medium, which is my Elmer's clear glue, 70%, water, 30% mixture. So, they are all mixed. They've probably been mixed for, I'd say about an hour now. They're all pretty good consistency. Sometimes they thicken up a little bit, but they all look like they're pretty even still. And I'm going to use Montmartre silicon oil. So, I am going to use three drops in each colour, including the white. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. So, oops. Now that their silicon is, is in, I give them a really good stirring in. Even scrape the sides a bit. Don't scrape the sides if the paint has already started drying on the edges. Because um, then you end up getting like um, bits of dried paint in there. But just give it a really, really good stirring in. Um, I think you're better off to give a good stir. Make it all the way through. So that is what I do. So I made these paints up probably... It was probably an hour ago. Um, yeah, I had a bit of fun with that. So I, I always use these little thin pop sticks because they're, they're the cheapest. So, and while doing it, the pop stick broke, which in turn made my blue cup of paint flip over and land on my chest. So I had a whole cup of paint running down from nearly my neck all the way down my whole body. And um, luckily I wasn't wearing a shirt because it's a bit warm in summer here. But underneath my shirt, I look like a, a blue Smurf. It's always the blues that I always spill all over myself. So it was <laughs> it was one of those moments that at the time I was a little bit unimpressed, but um, I had to laugh about it afterwards because it was quite funny. I'm just glad I didn't have it on video. So these paints, or looking quite good they feel even so that is a great thing I wasn't sure what colors to use so I thought I'll just use white pink and blue and kind of make something that way okay silicon's done that's done make sure my cups are all there all right let's get started so I'm probably only going to do two layers worth, so so that's probably about half the cup of paint worth. Then we're going to put a white layer over the blue. in a layered form, not a dirty cup form. So just lay it the best of your ability. Alrighty. So 
So I've been wanting to do something a bit more pink again, but I wasn't sure what to do and I thought, how about I do a cool flip cup and pink and blue always does well together. Um, might even give me some purple, who knows? If they mix together a little bit, I might get some purple. But having the white in there, I will get different shades of pink and different shades of blue. So hopefully I get a nice assortment of colors. So I had been doing some of those cloud pours lately with the satin enamel. But I'm giving that a break because I've done two. Neither of them turned out properly cloudy. But I don't know if that's because I wasn't doing it exactly the right mixture. Or because um, I was using a teal satin enamel and not a white. I'll do some more of those later again. I like to mix it up a little bit and try not to always do the same thing. Keeps my videos a little bit interesting. So I'll do some for a couple of days in a row, but I don't want you to turn on your computers or your phone, go to my page my YouTube page and see the same thing over and over. Even though I often do flip cups or whatever, hopefully I get slightly different results. So I tried getting some different silicon um, oil from Spotlight, but after ordering it, I got an email saying that they're sold out, so I didn't get my order. So I'll just have to wait till it either comes back in stock or um, get a different brand again. I just want to see if there's differences, if I get different effects using a different one. I still haven't gotten around to ordering the spot on one from overseas yet. Okay. Hope I'm not taking too long with this mixture. I'm hoping I do get a bit of purple out of this because um, we all know I love purple. Um, I'll do this and then get ready to have a rest. I've got to get up early. I've got my um, talk on the radio tomorrow about plants. So that should be interesting. Well, plants and insects because um, I'm an avid insect lover, apart from little flies that seem to go on my paintings all the time. But out in the garden... Um, all the wasps and good little critters that are out there. So by the, virtually by the time I upload this video tomorrow morning, I will probably already be on the radio doing my talk. So that'll be fun. And then I'll be heading off to work and do my day of work and then come home to do another pour. So they're done. I always swap those two caps around. The last one seems to be slightly lower than the other than the first and second cup. It's only a tiny little bit, but I find it's better if I put it in the middle instead of having it on the edge. Now I'm just gonna flip. Okay, we'll just let that settle for a second. Why that is settling, I make sure it's recording, it is, and I will bring over. So this is, I'd say this is fully dried. 
but this is that pearl paw, I mean, um, my first satin enamel. So I did get these kind of pearls, not so much cloud effects, but I'm really happy with this. I think this has come out quite well. Um, the first try turned out better than my second try. Not as pleased with the second one. But again, I mi I changed up my my recipe, my mixture, and you're gonna get different results when you mix it up, change it up. So I thought that would be something to do, just to see what difference I get. And here's my broken pop stick, which caused my paint cup to fall all over me. I'm actually lucky, it went all over my chest, but luckily I didn't get any on my pants. So, no clothes ruined, because I don't like getting paint all over me. I've always got I've always got blue hands. For some reason blue seems to often get on me more than the other colours. Don't know why that is. Alright, so I'm getting my gloves on ready. And I also do have my corner catcher. Because I'm probably going to use that. I never used it before, but I have actually started noticing it does help me save a little bit of paint from going off the edges. So, works out good. So I've got it ready. Alright, these should have settled long enough. So I'm going to tilt them, pour the excess onto the corners, and then go on to the next one. Looks like I got myself some purple. A couple of cells have already decided to make their way to the top. Just put in the excess on the edges because that will end up being poured off anyway. If you watch my videos enough you'll see that that's something I commonly do. Hmm. Got ourselves a white one on this side. Beautiful sky blue coming out in this. This one's turned out quite different to the other cups. Okay I better start moving it because it's gonna go over the edges. So it's just a matter of manoeuvring it back and forth. Actually, I'm not going to use the corner catches, am I? Because I put the ex excess paint on the corners and I will end up not tipping it off if I do that. So I'm going to go over this corner first. There we go, over the corner, bring it back up. Kind of come around this way and over that corner. Did I get it enough? Yes. Bring it back down. Move the paint around and slowly bring it back up to this side. Let's go over this corner, All right, over the corner, bring it down, and then go for this side. Should you go over? No, there we go. I'm going to tip off these while I've got the paint already up here. That's good enough. Then bringing it down. Okay. That paint feels like it's roughly in the middle. Now uh, just double check your corners. Okay. Try and use a finger that has the same colour paint if you're going to use a finger. 
a tad at the bottom there and a tad at the bottom here. Okay, that's that part done. Now, take the gloves off. So if you, um, I, I do forget that to do that. If you did want to use a corner catcher, then don't put, put your excess on the corners. Um, I do it and then I forget that's what I, I was going to plan to not to so I could use the corner catcher. But that's all right, we'll put that away. Now we'll get out the gas torch. I like the colors in this. So we wanna make sure we try and pop any bubbles without getting too close, because I don't want, I want cells, but I, I don't, I'm gonna try and keep it a little bit more minimal this time. If, if I can. So I am getting some cells pop up, <clears throat> not a lot, because I am purposely trying to keep my gas torch higher. Oops. So sometimes the silicon is closer to the surface in some spots than others, and you do get a little... They seem to just pop up a little bit. So I am trying to be restrained. I'm going to turn this, oops, turned it off too far. I'm going to turn it down super low and see if I can just get a couple in a couple of spots. Yeah, it's a little bit hard. I'm getting little clus clusters. Oh, far too close. What did I do? Look at that. <clears throat> I 
Okay, none want to come up there at all. I'm going to stop and wait and my gas bottle is very 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 hot so there's a couple of spots that it ended up just it was really hard I got really close there and it just made a real cell definitely a little explosion there but that's not so bad it's not right in the middle of the piece it's kind of off to the edge so it's not like it's really stand out um, if anything it kind of just gives a little bit of interest in that area but see how because so many came up they can't spread because they're all pushing into each other so they're not spreading out when ones over here that are a little bit more spaced out they've kind of got room to kind of maneuver and grow bigger and that's what's giving me the multicolors in it so sometimes it can be hard. I'm still learning how, I find the blowtorch is either hot or cold. I'm either getting no cells or I'm getting too many. <clears throat> I may actually try out my heat wand soon and see if I can get that to give me slightly more singular cells instead of clusters that I do seem to get. Um... But this is a lot less than I normally do. I normally actually give myself a lot more cells. So this is actually pretty cool. I've given it time for them to grow. There's definitely different colours in there. I do love this cluster look. It's absolutely awesome. But it's not what I was planning for this time round. And having little clusters in certain areas, that's fine. Um, I just did kind of want more... More bigger ones spaced out. So I'm scraping my edges for the moment so I don't lose too many. Excuse my hair again, it's probably a mess. Oh no. Ah. I touched the canvas. It's not hugely noticeable. Just on the very edge over here. Ah. Sometimes you really feel like kicking yourself. I need my bigger work area. Um, definitely need my art. I need, need an art room. So I can have a much larger table and not have so many things next to where I am. So I'm not going to torture it anymore. I'm going to leave it as this. So I've got a selection of larger cells and a selection of some little smaller cells. I do think that is totally awesome, but not my plan. So maybe one day I'll do another one of these and try to just get Huge amounts of, like the whole thing just celled over with these tiny little cells. Who knows? May look good, may look a bit too much. But I'm happy. I got a lot more purple than I planned. Not so much purple in the cells, but the backgrounds become very purple. Or light purple. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. So, what do we think? It's a little bit more, definitely more minimal than what I normally do. But that's what I was going for. I didn't want to over, overdo it with cells. So we can come down and have a look at some of these. Like, they're all different colours. Really cool. Let's go up and have a look at these little clusters. Like, look how awesome that those little ones are. But that just was not what my plan was. So... But they're, they're really cool. But as you can see, compared to the other ones, they're tiny, tiny little things. So you wouldn't really see it in a large piece. It would just kind of look a little bit, little bit busy. But we've got all different 
cells happening. We've got cool ones over here. This is this corner. Let's go up down on the left hand side of the piece. Real assortment of blues, magentas, pinks, light blues. Come down this way between the, this is where the middle cup was. More cool cells. And then off to this side. Look at all the assortment of different coloured cells in that. That's cool. Alrighty. So, this is tonight's artwork. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, I think that's all. <laughs> I hope you all had fun watching. Um, and yeah, enjoy your evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.